phố uh, San Antonio nha cả nhà Wow quá đẹp Here we go À, cả nhà đây là cảnh uh, trên uh, cái cầu của dòng sông uh, River Quốc San Antonio nha Wow đẹp à, Bây giờ uh, tất cả anh em đều uh, lên tàu nha cả nhà Đây là toàn hot girl không à, hot boy đây nữa Hot girl đây là hot boy nè, hot boy đây mới kiếm này đẹp trai nữa mà Đó, hot boy <cười> Ừ. Ok. À, thì cả nhà đương thấy rồi mình đương tới chỗ River Quốc nha cả nhà đây là thành phố San Antonio đó là chứng minh
đường đi tới uh, riêng quần quốc nha cả nhà à. wow những người đẹp không à, à. <cười> Ở đây là một trong những cái địa điểm mà dành cho tất cả các anh em à, tới đây để uh, du lịch nha cả nhà Cả nhà đây là cảnh trên cái cầu của dòng sông River Quốc San Antonio nha cả nhà. À. Đẹp không? Nhìn đẹp quá. À. Wow. Cool. bắt đầu uh, bắt đầu anh em mình lên nha cả nhà à, bây giờ uh, tất cả anh em đều uh, lên tàu nha cả nhà ừ, ok Mấy anh qua đây. Nói cho mấy con lên đi. Nói qua đây, qua đây, qua đây. 
Nhà đi vô đi vô 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 hết đi. Thấy chưa? Ngồi đây là cũng mấy hơi à. Cái ông quỷ này. Ngồi đây rồi. Rồi mình người bạn đẹp đi. toàn hot girl không à, hot boy đây nữa. Hot girl đây là hot boy nè, hot boy đây mới kiếm này đẹp trai lắm rồi. Đó, hot boy. Nhớ nhớ chi tiền. Sao bốn số bốn anh nhiều. Ok. Also, the no smoking, no waving on board. Also, please try not to take any phone calls. The tour is taking a look right in front of us. I want to wow. point out Selena's bridge. The small little footbridge we're about to pass underneath. The main master is the auto singer Selena Estenia Perez. The single born in Lake Jackson, Texas. See, back in 1997, Jennifer Lopez portrayed her in the movie about her life. And they filmed the scene wow. right on top of this very bridge. So ever since the movie was released, people will come to the bridge to honor Selena's memory. They'll sing her song, Supposed to the Loved Ones. I've actually seen many, many proposals happen right above that bridge. It's become very popular for couples as well. Now, continuing on our ride, right here on our left side, this big old white building, this is a hotel. It's called the Opti Live on Shore. There's a mansion. So it's a hotel today, but it used to be a boarding school. It opened its doors back in 1853 as St. Mary's School for Boys. Now eventually as the school outgrew itself, it went away, becoming what is today St. Hey, Mary's High yeah. School. They moved the school across town, and then in the late 60s, two of the alumni purchased that building, they slipped it and turned it into a hotel, which opened in 1968. Alright guys, so as we continue on our tour, we're actually going to see two other tour locations, like the one we started at. So they're all the same, same tour, same route, same company. The only difference is that they start at the end from the same spot. Now our location is pretty cool because we start next to a lot of restaurants and shops first on our tour. Take a look here on our right. Right here we have Rita's. Supposedly they have the strongest margaritas on the river. And right next door, Justin's Ice Cream Company. It's become a very popular But before we head into this area, there we go. next up on our tour is an optical illusion. And it's really, really cool. You might want to get your cameras ready. So oh, as soon as we pass underneath this bridge, guys, take a look up high to the left of our bridge. Oh. At this building we're about to pass in front of. You'll see the building appears to look like an optical illusion of a big sign. Oh. And as you can see, there's a little bit of the bridge that we're about to pass in front of. You'll see the building appears to look like an optical illusion of a big sign. Just look directly at high to our left as we pass the board bigger. Look up high to our left right now. That's pretty cool, huh? This is the Dix building. It was actually a hospital when it first opened its doors. We had in our nation. It offered everything you need from wow. major surgery to a band aid, all in the one spot. I also want to mention that comedian and actress Carol Burnett was born right inside of that building. She just celebrated her 90th birthday. Now here's where all the restaurants begin. So to our left side is where you'll find many seafood restaurants. Right here we have Bubblegum, there's Joe's Crab Shack, and the Seafood House. Wow. Right around the corner. To the right of our boat here, we have Hard Rock Cafe and Paisano's Italian Restaurant. There's actually about too many Italian restaurants on the river, but Paisano's here is a very popular spot. I've done many, many dinner charges for them over the years. They have a big wine selection as well, really great drinks and food. So it's a great spot if you're celebrating a special event, birthday, or an anniversary. I've covered that guy's in a lot of other restaurants. But to my left side right here, Whoa. I'm talking to the bar, Bad Dogs, British Pub. Across from Bad Dogs, Gossy Dogs, I have music here all night long. There's artists doing face paintings, caricature drawings as well. Đúng rồi, 
It's the next up on the right hand side, we're going to pass in front of this bigger orange building. This is the Casino Club building. Although the name may be a bit misleading, there were never any casinos in here. But the building first opened its doors in the early 20s. It was built by the German community. It housed a lot of social clubs and different groups for San Antonio back then. Today, those top four floors are all apartments. There's people living right here above Sawgrass Steakhouse. And to our left side here, you'll find the family friendly restaurant. We have Rainforest Cafe here. A few doors down, there's Dick's Last Resort, Lone Star Cafe, and Cafe Olay. This is always the most populated area downtown. It's basically, basically where all the big restaurants are. Wow. To the right of our boat, we have the chocolate factory here. By the uh, as you see, there's a lot of gift shops oh, yeah. right next door to each other. They have cowboy hats, t-shirts, keychains, a lot of merchandise you can pick up there. After the bridge here, also on the right side, wow, that the real real. There's the original right next door. A lot of great restaurants, which have been around for many many years. Coyote Ugly is up there, a lot of great bars nearby. Food Roast is here on my right side with the green umbrellas. They were voted one of the top 10 restaurants to dine in, in the city. The known for the table side blocks that they go out in front of you. They also have really good seafood and snacks. Now the largest margarita on the river to be found here on our left at Cafe Ole. The Cafe Ole has a 60 ounce margarita. Massive. It's two people just order. It actually has a pretty good text about food as well as tacos and tequilas. You guys are perfectly fine to walk around the river with your beer, wine, margaritas. As long as you'll keep your drinks to the street level, you'll be fine. Just make sure to stay hydrated out there, guys. Uh, the Texas will really keep up on you. I've come to Europe about a lot of restaurants, but this one here, I'm going to bet this is the only restaurant of the river. This is Asha Rio. That's the room first open the doors back in 1946. And they are responsible for starting all uh, the board activity and riverside dining you see today. So pretty much everything that's here started from Casa Rio. In the late 60s, they started taking their customers on a little popular boat ride. When they got back, their food would be ready. That's basically how this all got started. This continued to grow and grow. Now right here, I'm going to pause the boat for safety reasons, just to make sure there's no traffic passing through here. Now a very common question we get asked a lot down here. Is, is this a natural river? Is it man-made? How does it work? Where does it come from? So in answer to that question, first off, this is a natural river. This river is actually sourced by action. Now this part of the river up ahead actually has a yeah. bottom. It was extended throughout the late 60s. And San Antonio prepared to host the Everest Fair World Fair of 1968. Now we're going to make our way here guys, check out a couple of seats, and then we'll be heading out of here in about 15 minutes. And then we'll see those on tour from the natural flow of the river. Now we're going to spare. This is a huge event for some of the people. We're going to have a festival that hosts the event in downtown. A festival in which we're about to take six months. It was a great way at the time for Saturday to be able to put itself on the map and also boost the city's economy. So they really took advantage of it. They invited the whole world to come down to celebrate San Antonio. At the end of 1968, over 7 million people had walked through those festival gates. It was an event which really helped to put this city on the map. The river walk. Now these waterfalls are very beautiful, very relaxing, but they also have a purpose. They add to feed the water and put oxygen back into this river. This river is home to all types of wildlife. So guys, here on my right side, there's Duck Island. You see a lot of ducks casting and hiding behind it. There's a lot of baby ducks that recently hatched this summer. So they have to hide behind those bushes back there. So you see, I see it's a warm. People will watch the at the sky above. This statue was just unveiled last summer. So it's very new to the river. Stargazer was created by a Mexican artist named Pedro Reyes. It's made of volcanic rock and marble. Now I'm going to pause the boat right here guys and try to Stargazer. But I also want to point out our Tower of the Americas. So come up here to the right of our boat. Our Tower of the Americas back there stands at 750 feet tall. It is the second tallest freestanding observation tower that we have in the United States. It was actually built to be the centerpiece for the I think one of the three glass elevators up there. And at the top, there's an observation deck, a restaurant, 
at the bar, which makes one complete turn and the other to get a panoramic view of San Antonio as I just passed by. It's a really great way to experience the city, especially in San Antonio. Alright guys, so up ahead here, we're about to head into our River Center shopping mall. We're going to slow down the road here for a bit, just to make sure there's no traffic tags in the way. This is another one of my tour locations. There's three on the river now. I said earlier, it looks different. It starts to stay in from this location. This is our brand new next to the mall, so it looks pretty busy. It seems like this way in our location is probably the busiest. And this is River Center Bar, one of the six major shopping malls in San Antonio. It was built in 1988 and it offers a million square feet of shopping area. Alright guys, so there are over 100 stores in here and about 25 restaurants. Take a look here to our left side. Here is where we'll find by the Rita Mill, the Sugar Factory, Hooters, Bobby Slash Statues, they have the Yard House right above us, Mad Shark Bar and Grill. We're gonna make our way in here, kind of go around the lagoon, see guys, wow. and kind of just take it all in. It's actually a very unique experience. There are not that many shopping malls here or around Texas to have a river run through it like this. So it makes for a great experience. We're gonna make our way in here, straight ahead through the glass windows. Here's the food court. There's also a boarded steakhouse in there, guys. A Johnny Rockets, Witch Witch, Chipotle, Starbucks, just to name a few. If you're looking for some fun activities to do with the kids, or if you're just looking to hang out and enjoy some AC, inside the bar they have two movie theaters. There's an AMC theater, there's an IBEX, there's also a David Buster, the big arcade. They just like, put up a dinosaur safari, which is a really cool exhibit. There's a Legoland, a Sea Life Aquarium. And if you guys take a look behind me here, up there on the third floor, there's zip lining and rock climbing as well. So lot of really cool activities and fun things to do inside the bar here. I also want to mention if you were thinking about stopping by the Alamo while you're here, the Alamo is actually right next door. So if you want to remember where it is, you could even cut through the IMAX or the Starbucks. The steps lead you right out to our Alamo Plaza. And right in front of the Alamo, there's usually where you can find the hotel, the hotel, the place, the place, and you look at those tours, right? They're by as well. Wow. As we head out of here, guys, take a look here on my left. Up these steps, you'll find Fogo de Chow. Upstairs, there's an IHOP with Denny's. And about four mm. blocks up here, a water burger. So no matter how late you're at, how early you have to be up in the morning, you'll always find somewhere to eat down here or something to also do for sure. Fogo de Chow. There's a few shops to our left, and also up there to the right. Uh, Alright guys, so we're going to head back to this little section of the river here. You'll have another look at Stargazer, uh, our Tower of the Americas back there again. We weren't able to get a good photo before. Uh, over here, there's another statue I want to point out to you. And you may not have seen it it's much smaller than Stargazer. It's about eight feet tall. It's a statue of St. Anthony the Empire. Take a right now. Here you see St. Anthony the Empire. He holds up Jesus in his arms. St. Anthony is the saint of lost items. And a lot of people don't know that our city and river would be this very river that we are traveling a lot. You know, a lot of people don't know that this river will actually travel over 148 miles. Eventually, it being right to the Gulf of Mexico. That is how far the river travels. Now, as we head back into the natural flow of the river, guys, take a look here to our left, up high. Up there is the Hilton Palacio del Rio, the palace on the river. That hotel was actually put into the Guinness Book of World Records when it first opened back in 1968. It was built for a record breaking time. 202 working days it took to complete. That's about eight and a half months. It's a very quick time to build a hotel, especially one of this size. So how they accomplished it, how they built it so quickly. This hotel was a modular project. They built it in sections. The bottom four floors were built on the side right here, but at the same time they were building the second half of this hotel. Eight meters of this time. The Hilton Palacio del Rio. Alright guys, so right there on my right side, there was another one of our tour locations. 
down here to my left, up ahead, La Vida. This is the oldest neighborhood in the city of San Antonio. It all started in the early 1700s. Picture Back then, these buildings that used to house that the concept architect of the Riverwalk. He was the mastermind behind everything you see down here. The sidewalks, the bridges, the walls. Rồi, bây giờ anh em chuẩn bị đi về cặp bến đây. Rồi, bây giờ anh em bây giờ đi ra đây. Ok. Ừ. Ừ, có trần họ đi xuống đây luôn á chết luôn ok rồi đi đi tới luôn đi mấy anh em cứ đi tới mấy anh em đi đừng đừng có hất mình cái này đi xuống luôn nha hất nhẹ cái đi luôn á rồi đây là cảnh anh em đi về lấy xe nha cả nhà Wow. Hai người cầm tay cho, hai người cầm tay cho. Hai người cầm tay cho. Đó nè. Ờ. Nắm 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 mà nắm đúng nha, nắm chặt cho chân nguy hiểm. Trời ơi, tình cảm dễ sợ không? Nắm với nhau à. Wow. Wow, cái gì đây? Ai không nói chạy chạy sạc khối xe, nó rù khối.